Hello, I'm Bryony. Welcome to this week's Euro Office Small Business Roundup. Here are some of the stories hitting the headlines. The Forum of Private Business has conducted a study which shows that only 28% of small and medium-sized businesses expect to see a noticeable difference to the regulations that hinder them because of the coalition. 40% of respondents said that they don't expect there will be any significant reduction in the legislation they need to comply with. 32% of respondents are uncertain about what they expect. FPB's research manager Thomas Parry said most small firms now feel the country is past the point of no return with regulatory legislation. Company insolvencies are down 13.9% since last year. Good news for small small businesses and for the country. Last year there were 4,000 forced liquidations. Clive Lewis, head of enterprise at the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales, says companies have obviously kept control of their costs and have managed their cash flow, which is encouraging. It will be interesting, though, to see if the rise in insolvencies will happen as it usually does after the recession. With the economy growing, albeit at a sluggish rate, it would be great to think that we have escaped the huge raft of business failures we've seen in the past. ACCA slash CBI research says that banks are keen to lend to small businesses, but they can't find the SMEs to lend to. The research shows that cash-poor SMEs, those that might usually be more likely to to apply for bank finance are instead relying on their suppliers for short-term finance. Trade credit for SME accounts is actually about 19% of assets, which makes it hundreds of millions of pounds. That's all for this week. Please do join us again next time.